guys this is Seti Verma so again uh, we are here to show you some of the plants this one is a very low maintenance so this is a bucket uh, you can see the roots going down the idea was when the roots were here we planted this as a very young plant and then filled this water bucket uh, until the water reached here added nutrition the idea was that the water level keeps going down by the consumption of water by the roots and then roots keep going further down as well with the water so they are always a part of the root is submerged in the water and uh, we thought that at the end of the season the water will be at uh, minimum level and the plant will be completing its life cycle but that did not happen we had to add the water and the nutrition so yeah it's not zero maintenance it's kind of a low maintenance but you can see the plant is coming up very well very healthy it's even clouding now so this is if i want to keep one or two or three plants at the max but if we if i increase the number of the plants then definitely i will have to monitor the water level probably after a month or two months and uh, fill the water up with the nutrition accordingly the alternative method is this one as we every year described this year we have tried tomatoes in here uh, these are indeterminate type of tomatoes uh, again uh, let me explain you there is a submersible pump here this reservoir is full of water then water goes up and then it rains and these plants are inserted in these small elbows and they get the water and nutrition as a rain through the top shower head now uh, I counted them at the moment we have around 94 95 tomatoes in this setup uh, so the fruits is uh, very good there are 10 or probably 12 plants uh, with 94 95 fruits and this is only the beginning this would be our first harvest and then definitely as the season grow grows uh, we'll be harvesting more and more of the tomatoes so you can see the plants are coming well so far i'm very happy and the only thing we have to manage these plants and prune them and uh, train them as for the space available with the tower but yeah it, it is a nice setup uh, in my opinion and if there is one or two plants we can grow them in the water buckets if there are 10 15 we can increase uh, the number of the plants by using a tower system but as we go from 15 or 20 to say 100 plants 200 plants of different uh, varieties and species then we'll have to connect these different towers together that would be another idea also we have some issues when we are harvesting that these stems they big thicker and it's a challenge to take these stems out so we are probably uh, rethinking the entire uh, set up again how we will maintain our towers when the harvest is done uh, because definitely the plucking the plants out of these small elbows is a big challenge so we are thinking how to improve this further uh, if you have any ideas just please uh, let us know in the comment section thank you very much have yourself a great day bye bye